Somebody's got a birthday coming up. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Sonoma, Sonoma State. State. SFCU celebrated its 50th anniversary. Reporter Natalie Weber has the scoop. Okay, so tell me a little bit about yourself, Bruce. How's your involvement been at Sonoma State? Well, the quick story is I've been working here for 30 years. I'm actually an SSU graduate, class of 1980. When I got here, I don't know, I think there was maybe 4,000 students, maybe less. It was about 100 bucks a semester. <laughs> Those were the days, people. You could rent a room for about 150 bucks a month. <laughs> Financial aid paid for everything. And actually, that's an important component of what's changed. The state was much more dedicated to giving higher education at affordable costs, mm -hmm. so people could go to school without these huge loans and things. Right. I think it changed just the whole vibe. There wasn't as much paranoia, I think, about paying the bills or having enough money in your family or mm -hmm. am I going to get a job or how am I going to pay off for these loans. Right. I think that affected who went to school here. And remember last time when we brought you the story of the smoking ban on campus? We have more information. So this potential smoking ban, tell me a little bit about it. Well, it's basically the voice of ASI and it's what we hope to see on campus. We aren't saying that there's going to be any definite change from it, but we are going to be writing a resolution and then we're going to be sending it off to the Academic Senate saying that this is our opinion and this is what we hope to see done. As of right now, we haven't decided on what the resolution is going to be. It's possibly going to be a full ban, it's possibly going to be a partial ban. It might stay the same with just no smoking but within 20 feet of the buildings. We've had overall pretty good responses. A lot of students have said that they like the idea of the ban. Some have said that they like a full ban, some have said they like a partial ban. Mm -hmm. And only a couple have said that they don't like the idea of the ban. Some have said they don't really care either way. Mm -hmm. So it really depends on the group of students you're talking to. Although the groundbreaking on the Student Center has been postponed, students and faculty are still very concerned over the future of their parking. Reporter Asia Hayden Meyer has the story. I'm standing on the future site of the Sonoma State Student Center, where once they begin breaking ground and construction, they're going to be closing the D-lot. Today we're out here finding out how people feel about it and how it's going to affect them once the lot is closed. Most people buy their reserved pass before school actually starts, and there was no mention that one of the reserved lots was going to be closed. You know, it's convenient to a building uh, where I teach at night, and so that, and this is a well lit uh, walkway to this building. Um, some of the other lots, the uh, other reserved lots, uh, are not as well lit at night and they're farther away from many of the buildings and so uh, and of course it'll be getting darker early so there'll be more nighttime for the night classes so it'll imp impact quite a bit coming out of class. As you can see this is a main thoroughfare for both vehicles, bicyclists and pedestrians. At Sonoma State I'm Asia Haydenmeyer. We'll keep you posted on all student center related activities in the following weeks. I'm Chris Owens. And I'm Sarah Dowling. And this has been another segment from your Sonoma State News Team.